If the presentation of disgusting and repulsive subject matter upsets you, please do not view this film. The traditional Thanksgiving meal is a time when friends and family gather in appreciation of their blessings. The family meal is also a time-honored tradition in horror movies. Although sometimes not everyone sticks around for pie. While a roast turkey is a standard for this holiday, some chefs aren't comfortable with the complicated preparation. Ugh. Or with carving the bird at the table. So we've come up with a low-cost, last-minute alternative. Here's our recipe for a budget-friendly, cannibal-approved turkey meat face that's sure to turn heads at your table. I'm joined uh, for this special meat face turkey meatloaf project by Tim Piotrowski. Hi. Illustrator, colorist, cartoonist, cartoonist, man about town. Man about town. So this is a great alternative to actually roasting a turkey for Thanksgiving, especially if you don't have a lot of people coming over or if you're under a really tight budget. You could do this entire main dish for under $10. It's super cheap, it's really, really easy to do, and it looks disgusting. I guarantee you're going to scare the shit out of anybody who comes to your house for Thanksgiving. Uh, so, um, the, uh, the other great thing about this recipe is you can actually use any turkey meatloaf recipe you have. And I also have a couple eggs boiling on the stove. You need to, need to hard boil probably a couple eggs just in case one of them doesn't come out right or you cut it wrong or something like that. So two or three just to be safe. Uh, and preheat your oven to bake your meatloaf. And we're going to put it together here. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. A really good tip is to always sharpen your knife before cutting anything. And here's a really quick way to sharpen your knife. Taking your rasp at about 45 degree angles, you want to do 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So it's 5 on both sides, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now you're ready to dismember any family member. So we're just cutting up some, we cut up some celery, and we're cutting up some pepper. I say we, but it's Tim that's doing it, because he's got the sharp knife. Um, and some <laughs> onion, to kind of, you know, break up the mush of it a little bit. When you're cutting up your onion, uh, make sure to reserve a couple of the layers, the outer layers, as solid pieces, because we're also going to be using those to create the teeth. Yeah, so I'm going to show you how to make it easy to chop an onion. So what you're going to do, take your onion, cut it in half. Where the green part grows off and you've already trimmed off, what you want to do is take your sharp, sharp knife, cut in several times like this, and it doesn't take years and years of practice to learn this either. Then you cut down here, diced onions. As you can see, that took 10 seconds to chop up an onion. I don't think I've ever actually cried cutting an onion before. I'm not trying um, hard enough. Should I just like rub it in my face? No. Well, go ahead. Let's see what happens. If you, if you, um. <laughs> sorry. Oh! Just beat up an egg with a fork a little bit to break it up. We're gonna add a pound and a half of ground turkey. We're adding a half a cup of uh, bread crumbs. Uh, then we're gonna add our chopped vegetables. Just throw them in there. Celery, pepper, and onion. A half teaspoon salt, half teaspoon pepper. A tablespoon of catsup. Our garlic, couple cloves of garlic. Smashed up, chopped, minced, diced, whatever you want to do with them. Do not be afraid to just really get in there and mix it up. Help me! All right, so now that we have uh, gotten our meat wad worked properly, that sounded terrible. We're gonna take our mold, and this is just a standard Halloween um, cake mold for a skull-shaped cake that we're using. You're gonna spray the crap out of it with Pam or you know whatever kind of nonstick cooking spray you like to use. So just cram your meat into the mold. Tim is just cramming his meat into the skull, and then you just want to line a baking sheet with parchment paper. Hi, Andy. I do it my way. My way or the highway. Ah, I felt it slip out. So, now we're gonna cut the onion teeth for our little man here. So, this is again the mold of the man we're using. It is it's human sized, the face. Um, and we're basically just gonna give him some upper teeth. 
uh, that are kind of in line with what you see here. I'm just gonna kind of freeform, round out the tops a little bit so it looks like they came, you know, they're coming out of a skull. You know, we don't want to be too literal with this because otherwise it's gonna be inedible. That should probably be enough to get across. Wow, that's huge. Yeah, he's got one big ass tooth. Ladies and gentlemen, the perfect meat wad. All right, now this is the fun part. Now we get to build the character features of our meat man. Do you want to name him? Do you want to have the honors? Um, I'm going to name him uh, Oscar. Oscar? Can you ask her anyone in specific? My dead cat. Oh, charming. Okay, so first we are going to lay down our teeth that we made with our onion. Oh, look at them, twofers. Gotta have ketchup on your meatloaf. Um, we've put a little Tabasco in our ketchup. If you want, you can do brown sugar. This is gonna make it look nice and bloody. We're gonna basically build a layer of skin on Oscar's face. Um, we're using provolone and it's sliced really, really thinly. Um, if you don't slice it thin enough, it kind of stays in blocks on the face and it looks a bit weird. So you wanna get it as thin as you can so hopefully it'll, it'll bake down and brown and peel a little bit and look like he's been roasted. And we're just gonna throw this in the oven and you just bake it as you would bake a normal meatloaf. It's probably gonna take about 30, 40 minutes and you just wanna bake it until the internal temperature reads 165 degrees. And you're just gonna basically, you wanna cut it so that each half is about an equal diameter um, so they look like two eyes. If it's not perfect, it's not gonna, it's not the end of the world, you know. So Tim, what are you, what are you working on now? Any well, specific projects? Specifically, I am going to start coloring a comic for Marvel written by Tim Fish, um, who I've colored other works of his. He just came out with a new book called uh, Trust Truth, um, and I did the coloring for the short story that Voodoo You Do So Well at the back. Um, and then he got a story, an eight-page story about North Star for the Nation X anthology that's coming out in January. I'm working on a lot of my own projects. Thirteen years ago, I came out with uh, three issues uh, of a comic book called Glitch. It's uh, a gay romantic comedy. So now I've decided to go back and take the first three issues, sort of rework them a bit. They're a little outdated, like nobody had cell phones back then, and yeah. I just feel that's unrealistic. Um, and I don't draw the same way anymore, so I'm gonna update the story a little bit. I have a website, it's my online portfolio for both illustration and comics, and you can actually go there, and in the comics section, I have PDFs of the first three issues of Glitch that you can download for free. And uh, as you can see, he looks just delicious. Um, Fresh-faced and beautiful. And we're just gonna let him rest for about 10 minutes or so before we uh, move into a rack and put his eyeballs in. Ugh. You've got your guide kind of from the, uh, the mold still, if you can see through your cheese. And if any cheese, cheese comes off, just eat it. Any skin comes off. Mm. There you go. Just kind of root around in that, um, just, you know, kind of drill root, it out. Root yeah. around in that socket a little. And then you just plug in your eye. Oh, sorry, Oscar. Happy Thanksgiving. Eat me. Ladies and gentlemen, the perfect meatloaf. So whatever, or whomever, winds up on your Thanksgiving table this year, everyone here at CampBlood.org wishes you a very happy holiday. See you next time. <laughs>